Hello everybody. Hi Julie and everyone at Old Carby Poetry with me. I just want to leave you a short message to say how happy I am and honoured to be a part of it. I hope you're all enjoying yourself and I'm sending you greetings from England. Um, it's in the middle of the night here, so I'm going to keep the message short. But first of all, I'm just going to read out to you what I sent along with my image of this year's Ultra Barbie theme. Um, I've been working a lot on certain themes in preparation for different exhibitions this year. And currently I have an exhibition that's exhibiting nationally in Japan and it's actually been shown to many of the victims of the last tsunami and nuclear power plant disaster in Japan. And I've been doing exhibitions in both Liverpool in the Bombay Church actually where John Lennon took Yoko Ono and she has exhibited there quite a few times as well since then and also in London with 70 of the world's um, most renowned graffiti and street artists in London at the Red Gallery during the month of August and part of this doing the Ultra Barbie I'm also exhibiting um, on the 8th of December at the National Museum of modern art in Egypt, in Cairo, at the Opera House Art Gallery. So I'm really enjoying the fact that I can send you this message and be a part of a really interesting and vibrant counterculture exhibition that allows people to celebrate the diversity um, that the different images of Barbie represent to each one of us. We don't all have to be blonde hair blue eyes to enjoy some of the different images and roles and experience that of you know being in contact with Barbie as a kind of um, postmodern cultural new world icon. So with this in mind, I'm going to read to you what I actually sent along with my image. This is my contribution to the 2012 Altered Barbie theme. I've been thinking why I've, I'm so into Hemingway, the sun also rises for a while, in dealing with the media spark that is the 2012 election. I suppose it is all that romancing the voters that made me connect with the droves of Lady Brett Ashley's admirers. I certainly understand the character sense of ennui. That, or I'm thinking about the lost generations to come. I could have been one of them, but I found art, so I was not. Well, perhaps as aimless as my many Lady Brat-like friends around the world. It is a Roman eclipse, indeed, and it makes me think about a quote from Paula Antonelli, who has just fulfilled her new role as MoMA's first Director of Research and Development. She wrote, Artists are the interface between revolutions and life. Artists bring in the human factor to the revolutions that get their start in technology and science. We're used to thinking that progress comes from technology, science and financial sectors. Culture brings in true a slower and more sustainable and a more holistic and trustworthy kind of progress. In my own transcultural way, I'm moving in the same direction as this quote, though I do not personally believe in revolution. I believe only in evolution. And again, that is another hot potato, I know. But I think we can kind of pass the buck of some of these more issues, difficult issues, to Barbie as our alter ego 
so that she can be the postmodern feminist and she can handle it. So, with this in mind, um, as I progress with both my professional artistic development and also with the decision to do my doctorate in sustainable and responsible tourism, which will very much focus on grassroots events like this one that you're having, in terms of regenerating not just the micro-economy, but also the broader macroeconomic aspects of a sustainable economy. Because at the end of the day, without culture, there's no innovation. And without innovation, there is no competitive advantage. So what I'm going to look at in the future and what I'm hoping to work with in the long run is to kind of bring together science, but also this sense of cultural continuity. And with that, regenerate and create a much more sustainable global situation for people who just need to express their creative free speech, which unfortunately is kind of missing recently. And I think if there's one message, you know, in my heart, in terms of all those that are going to be voting, you know, whether it's Obama or Mr. Romney, um, I think what we re really need to think about is ask this personal question. How will my vote and my personal decision this year affect the creative free speech? Not just for me as an artist, but for everybody around the world. And with that in mind, I hope you have a wonderful poetry evening and have a wonderful time. It's lovely to talk to you all and thank you for having me as part of your evening. Bye-bye.